So <laughs> what is spiritual health? Are you a Christian? I identify as Christian, yes. Are you a Christian? Yeah. Your podcast cover spiritual and emotional, emotional and spiritual health. What is spiritual health? To me, it's like wherever, we're not, just, we're not like a Christian-based podcast where we right. just talk about just straight Christianity, but we reflect on our lives and we identify as Christians, so we use that in our, uh, in our conversations. So to me, spiritual health is whatever you believe, and, and as far as like if you're going towards being a better person, going after being obedient to whatever you believe, to me, that's what spiritual health is. Um, just being obedient and really, you know, going after whatever plan, whatever man, woman, brother, sister, mother, father, wife, husband, that God has you to be your best self, basically. What, what, what do you mean by being obedient? So sometimes there's a, it's, it's like when, when you have, when you identify in a religion, uh, sometimes they have like, you know, you should not murder, you shall not lie, you shall not cheat. Obviously we're all not perf perfect, but we should strive to be perfect. So being obedient is something where it's like, I'm trying to be more like whatever person you believe in, in my case, be more like Jesus. And since I believe that he was perfect, to be obedient is to, to walk in that perfection as the best way I can. Are you perfect? No, hell no. Not even close. No, no. Are you no. a sinner? Yes. Are you a sinner? <laughs> yeah. And so, so you're a Christian as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so were you a sinner before you were born again? Yeah, definitely. And I, then after you were born again, you're still a sinner? Yeah, I think so. Same thing for yes. you? Yes. So yeah. nothing changed? Well, well, that's what I'm saying, Jesse. I think sometimes when you use a word, you got to define what it means, right? Yes. So if you're saying by definition a sinner is somebody who commits a sin, and therefore we're all sinners until we die, we resurrected, and we become perfect. But if you're saying if you're a sinner by somebody who lives in habitual sin, who's constantly sinning no matter what, and never repenting, and never turning away from the sin, and never trying to be obedient to God, then by that definition, no. But in regards to are we human beings who fall short, who do sin, even though we have been redeemed by God? Yes, we all are and all people so are So you like were that. a sinner before you were born again, right? Yeah. And then after you were born again, you still, uh, you still sin. Yes. You too? Yes. So how do you know you're born again if you're still a sinner? It's, you have to, it's two parts. You repent for your sins. You repent from your old self and from all the past doing you wrong. And you, you realize that, okay, I know that I'm not perfect. And I know I need a savior to get me to where I want to get. And you believe that Jesus died on the cross to get me into the right standing with God. So you repent and you believe. That's how you know. Do you believe that you can be perfect now? No, nah, I don't think that's impossible. I think it's impossible. You think Very impossible? impossible. Yeah. So was God lying when he asked us to be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect? No, I think that command for perfection is about... No, he tell you to be it. Oh, yeah, I mean, Matthew 5, 43, be perfect, your heavenly father is perfect. Yeah, I definitely know that verse. And I definitely know that as believers, we're called to live a life of perfection. Why would God ask you to be perfect as he is perfect and, yeah. you, and you say you can't be it? Well, I think that's a really good question. I think there's some lot of different schools of thought theologically in regards to what you believe for that. But one of my biggest things is I look at what Paul was saying in Romans chapter 7, just about being in this body of death, mm -hmm. you know, being in this flesh. And unfortunately, like, there's good that we want to do that we do not do. And there's, you know, bad that we do not want to do, but we unfortunately do it. So I definitely believe that, unfortunately, God calls us to do good because and calls us not to sin because by not sinning, we not only don't hurt us, we don't hurt other people, we don't hurt him. So the command is always to not sin. But unfortunately, in this flesh, in this human body, we do fall short. And that's what the Holy Spirit is to empower us. So when sin. he said, be perfect as I am perfect, yeah. be holy as your father's yeah. holy, he would just plan? No, I think I think that verse in regards to my uh, in regards to my school of theological thought, this verse is more about sanctification than perfection. What's right? sanctification? So basically, the sanctification is a theological term meaning being more and more like God. So like, let's say in regards. That's to, why you said be perfect because yeah, He is. Let me, let, me, let me break it down for you, Justin. So there's three parts in regards to the. The, the salvation process, right? Yep. There's justification, mm -hmm. there's sanctification, and there's glorification. Who the, told you that? I mean, you look at look at it in the Bible. I, I, all that is in the Bible? All of it's in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. Well, you probably haven't been reading Jesse. No. Where, <laughs> where is justification, sanctification, and whatever vocation you mentioned? Okay. Where is that in the Bible? So that's great. So if you have the Bible app, you want to go pull it out? No, that's not in the Bible. Well, if you have the Bible app, so we can go ahead and pull it open. What Bible you read? Jesse, do Are you, have, you read do you, a gay Bible? No. Do you what? have the Bible app? <laughs> he just, what he just... Do you have the Bible app so we can go ahead and pull it open? We can go verse by verse. We don't have time for that. Okay. Ah, <laughs> come we on. got him. No. <laughs> Find it for me while you're in the Bible, and then I get it. Well, you want me to go get my phone and get the Bible app? Oh, no, that's okay. 
<laughs> you you agree with what you just said about yeah. segregation? Wait, let me break let me break it down to you, Jesse. Because you, you, you all think you get you going to explain? Can I, can I break it make down? Make it short because I'm tired. I'll make it uh, short. <laughs> Justification is being made right by God, is being saved. Sanctification is being more like God, where you go from being a habitual sinner to being being more like Christ every day. And glorification is that after you die, you become perfect. In, in, Who made that up? That's not in the Bible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not even in the Bible. <laughs> Jesse, I promise you. Don't go back to that church. Huh? <laughs> I promise you, you haven't read it in a long time. Do you time. go to a female church? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're trying. You're trying really hard, but the problem is, no, I think no, you no, just no. I'm not trying it. anything.